Welcome to 8263 Camino del Oro. We are here at my new listing, number 378. We are in the heart of La Jolla Shores. Beautiful two bed, two bath condo, just over 1,300 square feet. Recessed lighting, newly painted. Beautiful, beautiful condo. Let's go take a look right now. We're actually uh, in the middle of photos, so we're gonna run into Fabio here probably, but we'll stay out of his way, but let's go check it out. So as you can see, it's kind of like a light sky blue paint. My listing of upstairs 478 is more of a beach cottage feel, I guess, more of a white and bright feel. But this is a really nice touch here. You can see the natural sunlight that comes through the window still. Um, the difference between 378 and 478 is that the ceilings here are about nine feet. Upstairs, they're about 10. So you get that extra foot of ceiling space on the fourth floor of the penthouse. But here, you still have great views, you still have great natural sunlight, you do have a balcony. So it's the same exact floor plan, but you we're literally just one floor below. So um, one of my favorite parts about these west facing units is, you know, the sunsets, right? And you get to see, you know, actual shoreline, you know? So a lot of people talk about ocean view and they say it's, yeah, ocean view, and it's a sliver of the ocean, right? Here, this is an, an authentic ocean view, right? Behind me, you can see. And you can see kids playing, you can see the birds flying, you can see the, the grass park here. Kellogg Park sits right behind me. Um, it's just a great natural family environment, which is which is really great. Summertime, you know, an awesome environment, but you know, we're here in February and it looks like this. I mean, you can't really say that across the country. Let's take a look at the, the balcony here, if you can get a natural look out through the window. It's very peaceful, it's very calm. You know, it's, uh, it's just, the road noise is non-existent, you know, you just hear the kids playing, you hear the birds chirping, you hear waves crashing. Um, it's, it's really what Ocean View is, right? So, um, anyways, we'll take a look here. Behind me is the master bedroom. Um, I'm walking right now. So you can see here, it's, it's very spacious. Um, and you still have a view of the ocean from the master bedroom, which is pretty highly coveted here. Um, it fits a king bed, you know, very uh, easily. You have massive nice things on each side. Uh, the difference between 478 and 378 here is that this is an original bathroom and closet setup. So here, if you uh, recall my listing at 478, this was turned into a walk-in closet. This is the original floor plan. It's just a shower and, and toilet in here. Uh, and then here you just have the, the double sinks. You have this size, um, the two sinks, and then you have closets on both sides. So you have a closet here, and you have a closet here. <laughs> Excuse me. And so what my seller did upstairs was she put the sinks over here, and then she put her shower over here, and she put where the current bathroom is and the shower is, she turned that into a walk-in closet. So she flipped the plumbing. The plumbing actually never moved. It stayed right here. She just flipped it to the other side to put her shower on the other side. So this is an original Club Dominium floor plan here. Um, and then here is the other bedroom. will follow me here. And uh, They've kind of turned this into a, uh, you know, kids' rooms, so to speak. Two twin beds. You can just obviously have the queen bed in here, or maybe even a king bed. But here also there is a sliding glass door, right? So there's sliding glass doors from all three rooms. Uh, upstairs, four seven eight turned this into a window, and it's not a door. Um, but you have views from all three rooms, right? And you can't really say that about a lot of beach condos. There's usually only views from one or two rooms maybe, um, but that's one of the benefits of being here in Club Dominium. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at the uh, second bathroom as well. Oh, and not to, not to forget the closet space here. It's pretty ample here, closet space. Uh, comes with the square footage, of course. And then the bathroom here, you can take a look has a tub here, so if you have kids, it's nice. Um, but a, a, a full bath here as well, which is a benefit. And you do have a, <coughs> a closet here for, you know, hallway closet. 
And then another big thing I forgot to even say, which I'm saying now, is the in-unit laundry, okay? There's, and I don't know, for all those people out there that know San Diego, it's really rare to find in-unit laundry. I have a, some storage there in the back, you can see. It's pretty nice. So, you know, it's not community laundry, it's in-unit. Uh, rare find in San Diego. In, in San Diego real estate, the price per square foot is pretty valuable compared to other parts of the country. So having in unit laundry is a huge bonus. So uh, here we are finding ourselves in the kitchen, my favorite place. Um, and you can see the cabinets here are, are from Ikea. They're well done. Um, they've held their, held their uh, use, usefulness over the years. Um, black granite countertop. So again, it's not that white and bright feel, but it's still a nice touch here uh, for a beach condo. And then formal dining room as well. You have Five chairs, you probably put a leaf in here and make it bigger. Um, so you can, you know, host eight people for, for, for guests or whatnot, formal dining. And again, this is a really spacious living room. Um, you could probably, not a probably, you could put a pull-out couch or you could put even a Murphy bed I've seen in other units um, to add additional bedding here. Um, and then they've turned in this space into potential guest bed as well. So. You can actually sleep with a lot of people in this unit. And um, this is, anyway, this is a tour of 378. Call, DM, text me, comment below if you have anything to add. Um, here's a resource right along here in La Jolla. Until next time. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment below for additional feedback. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you have to say. Thanks again.